For my podcasters, we posed a question on the screen, how long has Fauci been a failure? Now, the radical left believes in Fauci. They light candles to him, they pray to him. Every time he changes his mind, they act like that was divine, and we should all follow him right off a bridge. But smart people like you and I know Dr. Fauci has been a failure. The question is how long? So we're gonna see in the comments how long you guys feel Dr. Fauci has been a failure. Pops61 comes in hard with, since the beginning of time. Peggy says day one. Joni says 55 years. Well, he's 85 years old. So you're thinking he was actually like decent from one to 30? I think kids are cool. So one to 10, he was probably fine. Oh, imagine little Dr. Fauci. He's just in his room, just like killing ants with magnifying glasses going, one day I'm gonna do this to beagles. I can't wait. The reason is you have to kill animals to learn more about science. But the Boosty Boost has a $90 price tag with it. That's why you need three of them. Your kids need two of them. Now, what if you could take a combination of therapeutics, a cocktail, not interested? And Dr. Fauci has been not interested in a combination of therapeutics for a long time. We go back to the 80s when HIV was all the craze. Kids watching this today don't care about HIV. They don't really, it doesn't affect them very much. We don't hear about it every day. But people in the 80s and 90s, including Freddie Mercury, hey! They were looking for a cure for this disease, which was largely affecting only one group of people, but Dr. Fauci, who is a liberal, radical, bureaucratic leftist, did not want to say this virus is pretty much affecting this group and intravenous drug users. That made people feel bad. So he said, this is a virus that hurts everybody equally. Even your children, even your mom and your dad, everybody. We could all die from this. Complete lies. The science didn't back that up. The numbers didn't back that up. But the government was more concerned in making everybody feel equal than isolate the problem and say, this is the issue. Because that could make people feel bad. I don't like to do that. Point being, we have footage of Dr. Fauci claiming HIV could hurt the kids and no therapeutics work, by the way. He only thought a vaccine would work. Here we are 35 years later. There is no vaccine and HIV patients are surviving due to a combination of therapeutics, and that makes those pharmaceuticals very upset. Watch a young and very dumb Dr. Anthony Fauci screw up the science. Starting to see, as we're seeing virtually as the months go by, other groups that can be involved, and, and seeing it in children is really quite disturbing. When you say other close contact, give me some examples. Well, for example, if, if the close contact of a child is a household contact, perhaps there will be a certain number of cases of individual who are just living with and in close contact with someone with AIDS or at risk of AIDS who does not necessarily have to have uh, intimate sexual contact or share a needle, but just the ordinary close contact that one sees in normal interpersonal relations. Wow, wow, wow. So he's basically saying that, oh, anyone can get this. This is so scary and so violent and everyone's gonna die. Everybody's gonna die.